When it comes to content creation, they say audio is like 90%. One of my favorite tools in the planet has always been Auphonic. Auphonic is great for just blessing your sound to give it that chest kiss. Je ne sais quoi makes your sound round about perfect. It's perfect. A lot of people, especially new creators, are under the assumption that they can record things in a noisy or you know less than good environment and they will just put the audio up and it doesn't sound that great. It's hard to watch a good video with bad sound. It's easier to watch a bad video with good sound. Adobe put out a tool and this thing is so amazing. I'm kind of impressed because I do a lot of audio sweetening inside Final Cut Pro, sometimes Adobe Audition, sometimes Logic. And I've been around and working in sound forever, mostly trying to remove things like flapping in the wind or unnecessary wind noise or somebody <laughs> drops something on the set while you're doing the shot. Let's do a quick test. I'm gonna pull out my phone, probably the most, let's just say mediocre microphone you could probably get your hands on. We're gonna wop this baby up. We're gonna start a brand new recording just using voice memos, nothing but voice memos. This is a test of audio recording on an iPhone 14 Pro Max at approximately six to seven inches away from my face. What I'm gonna do now is rotate my head a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, just to kind of rock the beamforming microphones. What we're really trying to test is to see if Dolby's enhanced speech can fix this audio and make it sound like a studio. Adobe claims that their software can make you sound like you recorded it in the studio, even if you record it on something, you know, like this iPhone. Anyway, let's take a quick listen. Okay, so I just recorded, let's call it 32 seconds of audio, and I'm going to click on this bad boy and airdrop it to my computer. Voice Memos does save it into an M4A format. Adobe says you can do MP3 and Wave only. So I have to do a quick conversion, but that's really simple to do. Believe it or not, iPhone does have an enhanced recording right here, but let's just take a listen and see what that piece that I dropped onto the computer sounds like. Luckily, because I record these things in Ecamm, I can just let it rip by throwing it into my Ecamm real quick. This is a test of audio recording on an iPhone 14 Pro Max at approximately six to seven inches away from my face. What I'm gonna do now is rotate my head a little bit to the left, a little bit. That gives you a good example of maybe what it sounds like. I'm gonna convert this bad boy to a WAV file real quick or an MP3. I guess it doesn't really matter for podcasts. And then I'll come back and we'll drop it into the Adobe setup. Give me just a second. Now I just converted that M4A into an MP3 just because I thought it might be better since it's already compressed. And we're gonna go ahead and head on over to podcast.adobe.com, AKA Enhance. They have a couple tools here. You'll see mic check. You'll see this new Adobe podcast thing. So if you happen to land on one of the wrong ones, click on quick tools here at the top, select the one that you want. In this particular case, it's Enhanced Speech. Now this is free. You don't really need an account. I am a Creative Crowd subscriber, so I already have that. Anyway, we're just gonna drop the audio file on there real quick, and it says Enhancing Speech. So it's gonna upload this file. One of the other advantages of doing it as an MP3 is that it was already smaller. If I was doing this for my real podcast, I'd probably start with the wave and let it fix it from there. But anyway, this is just a test. Let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like. Here we go. Let's start with it off and we'll turn it on in the middle. This is a test of audio recording on an iPhone 14 Pro Max at approximately six to seven inches away from my face. What I'm gonna do now is rotate my head a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, just to kind of rock the beam forming microphones. What we're really trying to test is to see if Dolby's enhanced speech can fix this audio and make it sound like a studio. Adobe claims that their software can make you sound like you recorded it in the studio, even if you recorded it on something, you know, like this iPhone. Anyway, let's take a quick listen. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I want to say, for what it is, it's actually pretty amazing. Again, I think Auphonic is way better, but many people, the settings in Auphonic might confuse them. I really think it's worth learning how to do this, but you're just starting out, you're just getting your, your game going, you don't have a lot of time to mess around, and all you can do is record this. I do believe that one of the things I struggle with is maybe my audio was a little hot because I had it close to my face. So let's do one more real quick because I feel like most people who would say use a phone or 
just it's not even just that it's a phone any microphone whatever's uh i think it will make it sound better but you know the way we're doing this i'm going to pretend like someone's recording a podcast and so if you're recording with your phone it's probably sitting on the table so let's make another one a little bit shorter this is a test of using Adobe's Audio Enhance. This time I am recording with the phone sitting on the table at a normal person's height. And I'm six foot tall, so this is about right for most people. Anyway, let's take a listen to this audio after Adobe's had a chance to fix it. Let me go ahead and convert this real quick. I used an application called Permute. Permute basically is a simple little conversion app. I kind of love it. I got it from Setapp. Yeah, that's the ticket. I got it from Setapp, so it's part of a subscription thing, but yeah, see how fast it is? That's done. Okay, so let's pop on back over to Adobe and take a look. All right, so here we are back in Adobe. Let me throw this second clip up there. Oh, actually, I believe I need to go to upload another and then select it because it didn't default back to zero. There we go. We just dropped the file back onto Adobe and give it a chance to enhance the speech. And let's take a listen. Let's turn this back off. This is a test of using Adobe's Audio Enhance. This time I am recording with the phone I'm sitting on the table at an oval person's height and I'm six foot tall, so it's about right for most people. Anyway, let's take a listen to this audio after Adobe's has had a chance to fix it. Uh, again, I'm gonna go with good. I'm gonna go with good. Like it's not perfect, again, I would probably do this myself, but hey, if you're just starting out and you have basic equipment, maybe you don't have a SM7B, it should work. I did, in testing, throw the audio from this SM7B talking to a Rodecaster Pro. I threw it at it. It made it worse. Uh, and that's probably because this is already processed and compressed a little bit. So I think adding the extra just kind of throws it off. Purposefully, I'm not going to touch any of the audio in this recording, so this might not sound as bah, 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 bassy or pumpy as what you normally see from me here on YouTube, but it's worth a shot. Again, check it out. They have a couple of cool tools here. I think this one is pretty handy. It would come in handy, especially if you had to record something, say, outside or whatever. But another tool that they had, which I thought was kind of cool, if you're just setting up and you don't know where to put the mic, you can come and check out this mic chest. So let's go and mic test, mic test, mic check, mic test. Let's go start. And then you just got to read this quick passage. How is my microphone set up in placement? And then do a little thinking and boom, distance to the microphone, game recognized game. Gain, not the detergent, perfect. Uh, a little louder, but you know, I'm a loud talking person. Background noise quiet as a choice mouse and echo there's no echo if you want to learn more about doing your content creation adjusting your audio making things sound better if you want to see a full say you know review and explanation of how i use off phonic let me know down in the comments and i'll do my best to whip something up for you peoples i got a couple other things i think you might want to watch i'm going to pop it on the screen right about now